How to install official AOS IP build based on Android 11 on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the official AOS IP build based on Android 11 on the POCO F1. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Another thing, make sure you do have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any boot loops, any encryption issues, you will have to perform a format data and once you perform a format data, you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device. So here we are, I do have the POCO F1 which right now is running MIUI 12.0.3.0 based on Android 10. However, the steps will remain the same even if you are on a custom ROM, you just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you. First of all, go into settings, then you will go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Then we can go back, go into account sensing and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Now, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We are doing this because we are going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not. So you can go into settings, password and security and privacy here and you will notice that encryption and credentials for me it says device is not encrypted. This means that I need to flash disable force encryption. Again, if your device is not encrypted or decrypted, you need to flash disable force encryption. Those of you who are on custom ROMs which are based on AOSP, you can go into to settings security and maybe you will have to tap on advanced here it is encryption and credentials this phone over here says device is encrypted which means you do not i repeat you do not have to flash disable force encryption next thing what are the files which you need so based on the fact whether your device is encrypted or not you will need disable force encryption then you need the firmware file for the POCO F1 and we are using the firmware from 12.0.3.0 you can of course skip flashing this file if you already know you have the 12.0.3.0 firmware but I flash it just to be safe then you need the ROM itself so this here is AOS IP official build for the POCO F1 do note the ROM is available in two variants vanilla and Google Apps I am using the vanilla build which is why I am also flashing Nix stock G apps because I prefer to have pixel launcher next thing we need to do is boot into our custom recovery so for starters turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold the power button and the volume up button till you see the recovery logo so power volume up press and hold till you see the recovery logo and here it is team will recovery logo came went off screen turned off press the power button swipe to unlock if you get this message about keep system read only swipe to allow modifications next up we will go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done we will tap on the home button and then you can go into install now navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them from your computer you would know the folder first file we need to flash is the firmware file so select the poco f1 firmware add more zips next is the rom file so this here is the aos ip official build and then add more zips and select next stock g apps and then swipe to confirm flash as always if you are using the g apps build of the rom itself then you should should not or then you do not need to flash an explicit or an external G apps package once everything has flashed successfully we can scroll up and make sure there were no 
errors so here it is we are flashing the firmware and there were no errors next up we are flashing the rom itself and again there were no errors in both cases we did get script succeeded result was one so here it is script succeeded result was one for the firmware here it is for the rom itself and then we are flashing next g apps they were also flashed without any issues next up tap on the home button and those of you whose device was decrypted we need to flash disable force encryption so mount make sure vendor is mounted tap on the home button go into install select disable force encryption and then swipe to confirm flash those of you whose device was encrypted you will have to perform a format data so you will go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so make sure you do have a backup of those things for me my device was not encrypted or decrypted so i can skip the format data going to reboot and select system and there it is we do have the super cool super dope AOS IP boot animation on our POCO F1 which means we are booting into the ROM and of course the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient. Wow we are on the setup screen and now let me go ahead and skip the initial setup real quick. And of course because we flashed NIC G apps we are getting the option of choosing between chronic launcher and pixel launcher. I will choose pixel launcher because that is why we had flashed the vanilla build with next stock g apps on top next up let us go into settings and then we can go into about phone android version bam here it is android version is 11 security patch is from july 2021 which is the latest at the time of recording this video aos ip version is 11 official build for the poco f1 the kernel they are using is illusion plus se linux is set as enforcing and have a look at that dope wallpaper anyways you can also go into settings and security here it is encryption and credentials phone not encrypted which means that disabled force encryption was flashed without any issues google apps are also present and there it is peeps that is how you install official aos ip build based on android 11 on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you